When somebody says blowgun, you probably think of a ninja lurking underwater, breathing through a thin bamboo and then silently going up, blowing, somebody falls down, everybody's panicking, where did the dart come from? But the guy is gone. The blowgun is a silent killer with poisonous arrows. Or something fun that you can build yourself and that's what I'll be doing today. First you need the tube. So, I have two variants. The first one, the mighty PVC pipe that can be turned into oh so many things. You got to cut it in length, about one and a half meters, five feet. It's said that shorter blowguns are less accurate but more powerful, whereas longer ones are more accurate. We'll test that using uh, something in a little bit, but first cutting it right where you marked it. Now for the next part, which is making the ammo. You'll need a piece of paper firstly. I'm using A4 and you'll start by choosing a point around here on the uh, big side of the paper and folding this down and just rolling. And like that you have a pretty long paper cone. Now you have to go inside the paper cone and pick this this side with two fingers and just pull towards yourself. Now you might think this is a really big uh, opening but it actually isn't once you finish because you have to keep everything tight and just pull towards yourself. Then go inside and um, rotate your fingers in a direction and the fingers that are holding everything here on top in the other direction and pull towards yourself and you'll find that pretty quickly you'll have something that is much much sharper than before and much thinner also. It thins out very very gradually and you can have something that's very long like this. This is what you want. After that, hold everything here, because this is actually the point that matters most. And take a little bit of tape. I'm using paper tape. Use whatever is lighter. You know, you can have like very light plastic tape or paper tape like me. And just do this. Now you can use this, but before you have to cut it in length. So take your pipe the end and put it until it, uh, it's blocked. Take it out and right at that point fold it and cut it. And this is the basic type of ammo. You can use this very well but I'm going to put a needle through. This is a nail actually. It's a steel nail because that's what I had lying around. I'm just going, going to drop this inside and... So the problem actually is that the nail is too broad to go inside anymore. So it's pretty close to the tip. Maybe a longer nail would have worked better but it will surely work with the next one. I make. This one is kind of uh, a little bit different. It's, it uh, thins out much more uh, easily. Uh, faster, much faster. And that is actually my second blowgun. This is from a um, fishing rod. Why would I use this? Well, it's said that the shorter the blowgun, the, much, the more powerful it is. This actually tapers itself, so if you put something here, it has a very short time until it will have air around it. So this would uh, prove that shorter is more powerful. I'm going to test this and I'm surely going to be able to put a nail into this one. And again, it didn't work because of how big the head of the nail is. You know what? Nails can be useful, but uh, aerodynamically they don't really affect anything. 
I won't bother trying to find smaller headed nails. You can do that yourself. This is really just a demonstration and an experiment, but if you really want me to, just comment below and I'll do it. So, sorry for the poor lighting conditions, but I'm uh, going to try the two blowgun snow pretty quickly because I don't have much battery left. First one, the short one, putting it and uh, let's focus, putting it through the short end right here and I'm putting my mouth around it so I don't touch anything with my mouth. The nail fell off, it was um, an okay-ish um, power-wise and now the bigger It's going to be pretty tight. Let me shorten the cone a little bit. A better choice. Yeah, much better fit right in here. Wow, it's pretty long. Well, that was uh, surely more powerful, so I don't know anything about the myth of um, a shorter one being more powerful. And it was a little bit more accurate too, so this length surely works. And you can theoretically hit something. So right there is um, the second cone that we shot. Here, the first one near my uh, old books from when I was younger. The blowguns in all their might. So anyways, thank you for watching. If you want to say something, comment below. I don't really get comments, so yeah, subscribe.